पेज 137. Read the story. The Giving Tree. How do you feel when you help someone? How do you feel when you share your things with others? Read this play to know how a tree feels when it helps a boy. Narrator. Once there was a tree and it loved a little boy. Every day the boy would visit the tree and enjoy its company. So let's enjoy this conversation between the tree and the boy. Tree said, "Come here, my boy. Come and climb up my trunk and swing from my branches." The boy, while swinging from the branches, said, "Ah ha! What fun!" The tree said, "Are you hungry? Eat my apples." The boy ate the apples while eating. Said, "Hmm, how delicious!" Hmm. Narrator. When the boy was tired, he slept under the tree. The tree was happy to give its shade, but time went by, and the boy grew older and went away. page 138 the tree was often the tree was often alone after some years one day the boy came to the tree and the tree was very happy the tree said come my boy come and climb up my trunk and swing from my branches the boy said i am too big to climb and play I want to buy things and have fun. I want some money. Can you give me some money? The tree answered, "I am sorry, but I have no money. I have only leaves and apples. You can pluck my apples and sell them in the market. Then you will have money." The boy happily plucked the apples and carried them away. the tree was also happy but the boy stayed away for a long time and the tree was sad one day the boy came back and the tree shook with joy page number 139 the tree said come boy come and climb up my trunk Swing from my branches, eat my apples, play in my shade, and be happy. The boy said, "I'm too busy to climb trees. I'm getting married, and I need a house for my wife and children. Can you give me a house?" Tree said, "I have no house." but you may cut off my branches and build a house so the boy cut off the tree's branches and carried them away to build a house the tree was very happy but the boy stayed away for a long time and the tree was sad again and when he came back after some years the tree was so happy that it could hardly speak Now the boy was a young man the tree said come boy come what can i do for you the young man answered i am going on a business trip i want a boat to take me away can you give me a boat the tree replied all i have left is a trunk cut down my trunk and make a boat then you can sail away the young man cut the trunk of the tree and sailed away in a boat the tree was left only with a stump page number 140 and after a long time the young man came back again now 
He was an old man. But the tree recognized him and said, I am sorry, friend, but I have nothing left to give you. My apples are gone. The old man said, My teeth are too weak for apples. The tree said, My branches are gone. You cannot swing on them. The old man replied, <laughs> I am too old to swing on branches. Tree said, My trunk is gone. You cannot climb. Old man said, I am too tired to climb. Page 141 The tree said, I am sorry. I wish that I could give you something. But I have nothing left. I am just an old stump. I am sorry. Old man said, Dear tree, You have always given me, But now I don't need much, Just a quiet place to sit and rest. The tree said happily, Well, an old stump is good for sitting and resting on. Come, friend, sit down and rest. <laughs> the old man did. And the tree was still happy. Adapted from The Giving Tree Written by Shell Silverstein New Words Swing, delicious, pluck, trip, sail, stump, recognized. Page 142. Reading is fun. 1. How did the boy enjoy the company of the tree? 2. How did the tree help the boy earn money? 3. What did the boy make with the branches of the tree? 4. What did the boy make with the trunk of the tree? 5. How was the stump of the tree useful? 6. Why is the play called The Giving Tree? Word Building 1. Make new words and complete the sentences. A. The children love to sing. Blank. Loud. B. Read your lesson. Blank. Silent. C. Throw the ball. Blank. Slow. D. The tree gave its fruit to the boy. Blank. Happy. E. Do your work. Blank. Neat. 2. Fill in the blanks with the correct word. My mother went to the market and bought a kilogram of blank, apple or apples, comma, a dozen blank, banana or bananas and a dozen blank orange or oranges. I love oranges, so I ate an blank orange or oranges. My brother wanted a blank banana or bananas and my sister asked for an blank apple or Apples. A tree has one blank trunk or trunks, but many blank branch or branches. 
full stop. Page 143 A blank branch or branches has a number of blank leaf or leaves and blank flower or flowers. Let's talk. 1. Why should we not cut trees? 2. At the end of the play, only the stump of the tree is left. Find out if it will grow into a tree again. 3. Say the given sentences with different expressions. A. Come and play with me. B. I want to buy things and have fun. C. Come and climb up my trunk and swing from my branches. D. Cut down my trunk. E. I am too old to swing on branches. F. I am too tired to climb. Let's write. 1. Write these sentences in the correct order. Also, choose the right word from the box and add it before each sentence. Remember to put a comma after it. For example, finally, comma, dash, dash, dash. First, then, after that, finally. A. It gave him its branches to make a house. Blank has been given to write your answer. Page 144 B. It asked him to sit on the stump. Blank has been provided for you to write your answer. C. It gave him its trunk to make a boat. Blank has been provided for you to write your answer. D. The tree gave its apples to the boy. Blank has been provided for you to write your answer. 2. Work in a group and decide the things that you can do to help your grandparents or any old person. Now, write five of these things that you will do. Blank, 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 blank has been provided for you to write your answer. Let's act. 1. You are reading and talking about trees. You are thinking about trees too. Can you make the shape of a tree with your body? A. Let's see your branches. B. Let's see a full tree with fruits and leaves. C. Enact a cut tree with only a trunk. D. Enact a tree with only a stump left. E. Communicate the idea in this play. 2. Use your body to stretch, bend, jump, twist, hop, climb. Page 145 Let's read Chintha Chittu Chintha Chittu is a tamarind tree. This famous tamarind tree is in Gwalia. It grows over Tansen's tomb. Tansen was a great singer. People in Gwalia say, Eat the leaves of this tamarind tree and you will also sing like Tansen. Choose the right words. 1. Chintha Chittu is a tamarind blank tree or leaf. 2. This famous tree is in blank, guntur or gwalia. 3. Tansen was a famous blank singer or 
dancer. Four, the tamarind tree grows over tan scenes, blank, house, or tomb. Five, eat the leaves of the tamarind tree, and you will also sing like blank, tan scene, or akbar. Page one hundred forty six. Teacher's page. Unit eight. Poem. A watering rhyme. Drama. The giving tree. Themes. Caring for plants and trees. This unit further sensitizes children to use the language that energizes from their natural surroundings. Warm up. Divide the class into groups of four students each to read and discuss. While groups are working, encourage and help students with vocabulary or any expressions only after you have given them a chance to make their own choices. Reading time. Repeat the instructions as given before. Encourage children to read aloud with voice modulation. This can now be a time of class evaluation or assessment. Let the class be divided into four groups, and each group can be assessed for reading by the others on scales like one, excellent; two, good; three, try harder. Sharing time. Encourage. Creative writing with emphasis on self-expression, sharing ideas, feelings, responses to experiences in their own ways, with emphasis on observation, perception, imagination. Let children be aware of the natural world around. Language corner, writing pattern poems. You may help students write their own poems following the given pattern. Line one, noun, children. Line two, same noun, verb, adverb, one. Children play happily. Line three, same noun, verb, adverb, one, adverb, two. Children play happily, merrily. Line four, verb, adverb. One, adverb two, adverb three, play, happily, merrily, joyfully. Line five, adverb one, adverb two, adverb three, adverb four, happily, merrily, joyfully, cheerfully. Line six, phrase or clause. Showing time or place. In the garden, children will be able to write a short composition based on pictures. Take part in group activity, role play, and dramatization. Environment. Tabulate all that the children have done in all the units and see to it that this is being followed both with love and commitment. Remember. Only when children participate in caring for their environment will there be a world where language, English, or any other would be used.